Hi there, everybody. It's me, Armand, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Nikon, Nikon Hunting Spot On program. It's designed for all of the Nikon scopes, the rifle scopes. What you have to do is go to the website bar and go to nikonhunting.com forward slash spot on. The first time you go to this website, you'll have to register, meaning you'll give basic information and uh, you'll be able to log in after that. So I've already registered, so that's not a problem. I'm on the website now, as you can see, and it's a very, very straightforward website. What you have to do to start off, you go to this section here and you pick your rifle scope and it has every single rifle scope made by Nikon and every reticle from the Nikoplex to the BDC to the mil dot to the crosshairs with the dot in the middle everything every every, every kind of rifle scope it has it's right here I personally have a, a Buckmaster 6x18 with a BDC reticle side focus so I just click that and we just keep going down the list then you pick your rifle I mean the bullet you shoot I have a Remington 700 and that's in 30 out 6 so I just pick that you pick your uh, brand I shoot Remington rounds cheap Remington rounds nonetheless but because they're, they're not my hunting rounds I shoot more expensive hunting rounds but just for target practice and things like that I don't bother buying more expensive bullets I probably should but that's beside the point so I pick my bullet and at that point I continue to go down the list of requirements over here we have the target distance I, the farthest I'll shoot out is about 600 I've shot out the further probably around 7 or 8 but I don't want that to be a norm my zero is set at 200 and then over here I can click change atmospheric conditions where I shoot it's about 1400 feet the temperature is about right the pressure is about right crosswind we can throw in a 10 mile an hour crosswind just for fun and um, humidity it changes as you go one thing I really appreciate is that they have the uphill downhill angle shooting they can calibrate that into it which is very important to me because very few places are you shooting dead even like it's it's not it's it's almost impossible to find a place like this and it's such a drastic variable it can affect where your bullet is so much that I don't I think if you don't include it you're it's it's not even worth using it past two or three hundred yards I mean, in terms of the program so the fact that they include it is very helpful I'm just gonna leave it at zero for the sake of leaving it at zero but the point is you can adjust it save and close and from here I click fire and you will see it has adjusted everything on the scope to give me distances on my holdovers and on all my BDC reticle it shows me every single circle what it means what it is at, the, at that zoom so I can adjust every single zoom and it'll tell me exactly where each circle is going to hit which I love I love I love I really do appreciate that so I have here all of my uh, circles and my ranges and what I can do from here is I can go down to the generate ballistics report section and go to ballistics table and it gives me everything and I can take this out from here this area to a thousand yards from 25 yard increments and it gives me the speed of my bullet the energy of my bullet the path that it's flying at the drop the drift the time of flight the the the, uh, the zero that I have to adjust in terms of minutes of angle everything I need and I can print this out and have it with me which is what I did actually because Personally, I wish I was just sitting there hoping and praying that Nikon would come out with a program where I can plug in something for my particular scope, for me, just me, and not have to worry about generic holdover points and not worrying that uh, be able be able to use my reticle to its fullest ability. If that makes any sense to you guys, because yeah, they give you these generic holdover points saying yeah, if you hold it out. If the first circle's 200 yards, the next circle's 300 yards, but that doesn't work in real life. You guys know that, and I know that. So the fact that they gave me something that says, look, this is where your blood is going to be, I love them for it. If they can only do one more thing, I beg, I beg you, Nikon, please make this a mobile app in terms of cell phones and for iPhones or droids or smartphones in general. Charge 5 or $10, I don't care. I'm personally going to buy it if you make it. Anyway, I love this program. So yeah, you can save this as a PDF or Excel, whatever you want, and you can print it and have it. And like I said, you can make this for every possible scenario. So if you want, you could have a book of possibilities for every wind speed, for every elevation, 
for every distance. I mean, for every, anything you want, for pressure, temperature, everything you want, you can have it in here. And another thing that I love, which I actually I did print quite a few of these, is you can click here, see, click to click here to expand BDC radical, BDC circles. Click it. This way, they give you three holdover points on each circle, so you get a total of twelve holdover points, which is huge in my opinion. You get twelve holdover points on this, ranging from three hundred and sixty-six yards to eight hundred eighty-five yards at six times zoom with your given criteria of atmospheric conditions and whatnot. So you get so many shooting options. And when you drag this up to 18 zoom, you can see how accurate and how fine each of these points are. As you can see here, let's, let's look at this last circle, for example. The differentiation between 492 yards and 507 yards, you wouldn't think is that big, but it's an entire holdover point different. So if you were to be shooting at the 507 point instead of the 492 point, you would miss. It would be a clean miss. You would not get a clean. You would not get a kill with that. So the fact that you have the opportunity to get your exact distance and put your BDC right on where you need it to be is is crucial. It's not the same with the shorter distances, but when you start pushing the scope to its limits, it's very important to have the BDC right where you need it to be. So in general, I feel like I've gone through the basics of it. As you, there's little things you can adjust, like the atmospheric conditions, your bullets, uh, your brands. They have almost every bullet I've ever heard of in my entire life, and almost every brand I've heard of in my entire life. They don't make like the super specialty ammo, like the 408 or something like that, but they do have virtually everything you'd need for your whatever you're going to be shooting. They give you your immediate holdover at the yards you specified. My 600 yards, I'm 92 and 0.15 inches below my target, so I just need to adjust minutes of angle that way. And yeah, that's basically how it works, guys. I love this program. It's very good for anyone who has a Nikon scope for mil dot and everything. So, I mean, even for those who don't have Nikon scopes, mil dot particularly is a generic um it's a generic reticle, so you can use this for your own gun if you wanted to, for your own scope. You can see here if I wanted to click something with the mil dot scope. Oh, let's throw this guy out there. This is my exact gun, but in the mil dot, see this? Gives you the same principle, but in mil dot format. You can expand the mil dot, see that? You get three for each of them, again, 12, and it's just the same, same level of preci precision, but the holes are filled, so it's a little harder to aim. But that's beside the point. The point is if you had a mil dot scope, you could definitely use this to get your bullet spot on. So guys, whether you have a Nikon or you have a Leopold or you have a I don't whatever obscure brand you have, you can use this to your advantage. So I recommend it and Nikon, thank you so much for making this. Please make it a mobile phone app and uh, yeah, more videos to come guys.